My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Have we got a good looking car here. It's a 1971 Pontiac Le Mans and it's done in black. It's got the wing. It's got honeycombs. I love the honeycomb wheels. 350 automatic air tilt power windows, bucket seats, console, 12 bolt rear end, power steering, power disc brakes. Got a whole bunch going on. California built car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs and look at pictures from top to bottom of this car. And that's where you find price tags on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. I sold this car four years ago and just acquired it back from the same gentleman. He was very happy with it. It was time to get something different. Uh, he put about a thousand miles on it, took excellent care of the car. Uh, I could say it came back even better than it was before. <clears throat> uh, it's a California built car. The letter Z is right in the uh, VIN number of the car. And that would explain why the body is so clean. The floors are absolutely rust free. All original floor pans, braces, rockers, even up here behind the rear tire, there's a drain plug. That's always rotted away, patched, uh, you know, repaired. That's all clean, dry metal on both sides. And even the factory spot welds, the pinch welds, some people call them, uh, down along the bottom are showing. So really, really dry, original, clean floors. You look up at the motor, it's clean, the fuel pump looks new, the starter looks very recent. Uh, it has a turbo 350 automatic transmission, a 12 bolt uh, rear end in the back, uh, disc brakes in front, drums in back, uh, got a nice dual exhaust system. Uh, the gas tank is very clean, you know, galvanized gas tank, doesn't look brand new, but uh, looks like it's probably not the original, or maybe it is the original. Being from California, maybe it just looks that good. Uh, so the front end components, there's miscellaneous new components. So someone's maintained and kept up with the car, but it's a very original, uh, clean, proper underside is, is what we got. Now the body itself, uh, you're looking at it on your TV screen saying uh, it looks pristine. Uh, when you walk up on the car, it looks pristine, but there are imperfections in the paint once you get up on it and you look at it, but the body is really excellent. It's black. You know, black doesn't hide anything. This thing's absolutely straight. There's no rust, no damage, no ripples. The gaps are spot on. It's all clean metal, smooth, no bubbles down here, all around the wheel well lip, you know, the typical places they would rust. All clean, clean metal. Fits beautifully. Door shuts nice. Trunk is square and flush. It has the GTO Judge spoiler. Got original bumpers. They've never been re-chromed. They're a little tarnished, but they're still straight and shiny. <clears throat> the glass all has a tint on it, a tinted film. There are some light scratches. The vinyl top looks like brand new and all this stainless trim and chrome that's all around it is excellent. Uh, yeah, this side, the body is also slick. Look at the door, how nice it fits. Nice. Sport mirrors. Original windshield. There's some faint wiper marks across the glass. The hood, perfectly flush and square. That fits real nice. Not been in an accident, not been rusted. We all know that's half the battle right there when you're buying an old car. This is a rubber front bumper. It is not damaged. There's some imperfections in the paint, uh, like a hairline crack right there. Grills are good, original, so are the bezels. Now the paint, like I said, there's something, I don't know if something dripped across it. There's some imperfections there. There's a spot on the paint right about here where there's a whole bunch of like little tiny 
like almost like a rag was set on it, set on it with something on the rag. Uh, and there's little various touch-ups. This is all beautiful paint. Actually, majority, like here's a touch-up right here. Black touches up pretty well. Minor imperfections here on the trunk. The honeycomb wheels, like I was saying, I love those. Uh, I learned a few years ago, they're actually made a, out of like a rubber. They're not cast aluminum. Uh, the middle part of the wheel is a, a rubber. Uh, it's got Firehawk tires on it. I don't think they're that old. So the outside's real good looking. Uh, why don't we take you inside and tell you all about it. Okay, we got a real nice clean trunk compartment. Since they've added the spoiler, it added a little extra weight, so it seems to be holding, uh, but you got to open it all the way. Uh, but inside is perfectly clean, original metal. There's no patches, no signs of rust whatsoever, uh, no splices in the quarter panels. So it's all clean, original metal, original quarters. has a real nice spatter finish uh, paint job. Uh, we got a spare. It has the jack assembly. The jack looks like it might be a new reproduction. Uh, weather strips in real nice shape. The black is painted real nice. So the door panels in front look like they've been replaced. Oh, there goes the trunk. It has power window switch there. The weather strips around the doors and the roof have been replaced. Now getting inside the uh, car, it does have a very nicely installed uh, dash cap. So there's probably cracks under the, on the dash pad, so this cap fits right on there. Most people would never know it was there. Uh, they did a nice job installing it. The instrument panel is original, shows some age, but it's not cut up or broken. Uh, recently, the previous owner did just put in some digital gauges, including the tachometer. He also installed a new retro uh, stereo here. Usually there's an auxiliary plug hanging down somewhere. It's also a tilt uh, column, steering wheels in real nice shape. You got the machine turn trim in really nice shape. And like I was saying earlier, it's bucket seats. They're nice and firm. The cushions and springs feel great. Uh, the fronts of the seats have been reupholstered in cloth, front and back. Uh, much more comfortable. Headrests are in real nice shape. Seat backs are real good. And you might have noticed the seat belts here. It's a three point retractable seat belt, a little bit safer. Uh, the rear uh, side panels are originals. To be honest with you, they're a little different pattern than the front. So when they replace the fronts, maybe those weren't available to match the back. Uh, we got all the GM seat belts. Headliner looks to be in real good shape. Visors look nice. Center consoles, uh, good original condition. Carpets are real nice as Pontiac floor mats. So we got a 350 motor. It's got an Edelbrock intake and Edelbrock carb with electric choke. It's a factory air conditioning system. At some point, compressor's been replaced, uh, has been updated to R134 Freon. Uh, there's an HEI ignition system hiding back there. We got chrome valve covers, chrome air cleaner. Fan shroud, the brackets, uh, everything looks proper in here. The washer bottle is hooked up. We got power, power brakes, we got power steering. Not what I'd call show quality detailed, but uh, very clean, respectable. I wouldn't be ashamed to open this up and show it to anyone. But you got nice features, air, steering, and brakes. So 
So there you have it. Car has a big impact. It's a good looking car. It's going to look slick. It's a rust free car. It's got a great list of options buckets, air, honeycombs. It's black uh, and it's affordable. Nice. Having a nice body, that's more than half the battle. Uh, so, anyway, <clears throat> you don't have to spend a fortune to still get a really cool looking car. Great driver, great cruise night type car. You enjoy with your friends and family. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you finance this car. It's at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.